Warning, this is a horror game and it is not intended for all audiences. Slay the Princess contains flickering image effects as well as parallax effects that on rare occasions have caused motion sickness in players. Watch with care and enjoy the video. I never left your side. Oh no. So that's what I get for not immediately checking if uh, it in fact was stopped there. Uh, I'm silly. I was not ready when I opened the game again. Uh, and it, she just started talking, so missed a little bit of that. Can I, is this like a re, no it's auto. I was like, how can I replay the dialogue? Uh, so yeah, no, this just immediately came up when, we, when I reopened the game here, so. Don't worry, you only missed the... You missed the image initially, but I got most of the dialogue when I hit record again. <laughs> but yeah, just in case, uh, what got, what, I don't know what got cut out. Uh, you've returned to me, though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Okay, go ahead and make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. The princess? You won't. Oh! <laughs> Everything goes dark! And you die. <laughs> and it just goes back to chapter one. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, is a princess. Alright. So, uh... I don't know if I'm going- where I'm going to split videos. I might go ahead and just make this the start of, uh, the next video. Uh, you'll get to see how foolish I was there. Um... We did get an achievement there that said the real slay the princess. And something about you'll know it when you see it. And then it just brings us back to chapter one. All right, well, hello everybody. Uh, we love a cold open, right? We love uh, shenanigans and going, oops. <laughs> so I, I guess we're back at the beginning or so we seem to think. Last time, uh, we found this absolutely crazy, uh, otherworldly mirror entity ending thing that told us we need to find more parts of her, and then sent us back to chapter one. I guess we will see what comes next here. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, okay. Uh, note, you can skip previously seen dialogue by hitting tab on your keyboard, or... one of the right bumper buttons on your controller. Okay. That's good to know, because we're probably going to end up getting a lot of stuff we've already had in the past. Um, question is, I guess, what type of ending are we going to go for this time? Maybe we'll go just straight through try actually trying and not questioning anything uh, this time and see what we get out of that. If it's similar, maybe it'll be different. Uh, and see what happens there. Okay. Uh-huh. So yeah, all of this looks the same. If we just say nothing entirely and just do it. You make your way up the short path to the ca Oh, it fully just like skips all of it. Okay. Okay. I was thinking we'd have to skip things individually, but no. The interior of 
Uh, let's take that blade. Take the blade from the let's enter the basement. We're just gonna get right into it here. The door to the Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Yeah, I don't know if there's any, like... I don't know if I hit tab if it'll skip dialogue I haven't seen, or if it'll fully stop at things that are new. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking, man? Fine. Let's just go for it. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. That was fast. This is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder... Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Oh, super not. <laughs> not after last time. It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes, even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? Is it? Ah, uh, of course it is. Yes, exactly. It's over. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Uh oh. <laughs> Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'd be a little worried if you weren't concerned about that, but... <laughs> just leave? You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. That's not what we're gonna see. Only... A world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? We already found the weird world. <laughs> Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. Oh, yeah, no, the narrator is weirdly tied to that other thing. Yeah, I was kind of hoping there'd be a different... At least something different. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. This is eternity? <laughs> this is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Uh... Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. We, we get that life is boring now, ending since we just went and did it with nothing else. <laughs> Psst. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? The last forever crashed the game and then bamboozled me, so... <laughs> did you hear the narrator? narrator? We're happy. I have any idea how to get the heck out of here? Of course we are. I like it here. How do we I get do, out of here? But you're probably not going to like it. 
I don't want to die again. <laughs> blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. We left the blade in her chest. No. no. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Do you not? There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Oh. What if I... Uh, yeah, wouldn't we be... I mean, we know we wouldn't be dead, but... Stupid. You are absolutely correct. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you, and you shouldn't do it. In a sense, we'd die, but looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just the same thing, constantly, forever. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I know this is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. How do you know that? You shouldn't know that. That little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. Uh, if I stick around and do nothing, does the game crash again? <laughs> what a relief. I suppose we've got all the time in the world for you to change your mind. More happy time passes, though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is, not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. <laughs> you have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Past the point of no return, there's no going back now. The good ending, that was silly. Uh. Mm, okay, maybe I'm not happy, and I'm not just saying that because you're the last person I talked to. <laughs> good, because I have an idea to get us out of here. Though you're probably not going to like it. The blade. I can hear everything you say, little voice. Okay. Uh, I'll be pretty upset if we die, if we die. die, die, you can yell at me all you want. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you ingrate. Well, that's just rude. I don't know if literal nothingness is a great reward for saving the world. Fine. Uh -oh. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Uh. The end. Nice knowing you. Or was it? I don't think you liked knowing us. <laughs> chapter 2, The Spectre. Okay, so chapter names are even different depending... You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Uh-oh. I can't tell if this feels creepier than the original woods, or if I'm, like, imagining it at this point. You're here to slay her. 
If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, you bastard, you're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. <laughs> uh uh. Oh man, but see, part of me just wants. What's, what if I just keep just doing it the way I'm supposed to, you know? <sighs> I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. Have we, though? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. That's fine. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. The cold. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Ah, uh, I guess let's just go. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop. She won't be a problem. <laughs> okay. The voice of the cold's a little scarier than the broken ones. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is cold, a soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. Definitely creepier. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Yeah, because we waited in forever, remember? <laughs> like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. Ah. Uh. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. Yeah, what about that mirror again? You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Yeah, wipe that mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. I liked that it was a little bit different if you just walk straight up to the mirror without asking him about it. But there was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. Let's not spend much longer worrying over it. Clearly it's not even important enough to be acknowledged. Yeah, the cold is really freaking me out. <laughs> The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Is she here or is she still a skeleton? <laughs> <clears throat> the room below is silent. Nobody's here, naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend <laughs> the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Oh no, <laughs> it's so creepy. <laughs> okay, she's definitely dead. Yeah? <laughs> it's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Ghost princess. Two set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? 
she's dead all right, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if we can kill a ghost. A ghost? Oh, wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh, you are too calm about this. This isn't gonna go well. Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. The princess drifts across the room into your <laughs> orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Oh, her I... touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. I hate that I actually had, like, shivers there. <laughs> Oh, just enough. <laughs> Felt right to shiver there, you know? <laughs> so she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again, if we wanted to. Uh, can we? I kind of want to just directly try without thinking every time and see if... Without a moment's hesitation, you lash out with your blade. It's like you're slashing at air. Yeah. No matter how many times you stab at her, no matter how many angles you strike from, all you manage to do is interrupt her form, the skin of your hand prickling with cold as it passes through, unable to find anything solid. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's all you have? Just, hmm. You're adorable when you're confused. Aren't I just? But I didn't say you could touch me. You're right. That was my bad. Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job? Or what? Oh, you know. Thought I reset the timeline or something, but, um... Mm. Uh, okay, if I knew I'd have to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. I died too, and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? Stop playing the victim. You threatened me. Of course, I attacked you. You're supposed to end the world. That's why I killed you last time. You're dead, or at least mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me? What do you want? I'm out of... Hey, team, I'm out of ideas. Slay the princess harder. <laughs> I can't hurt you, there's really isn't anything for me to do here. I guess I'll get going. So well. You swing at the princess once more, and once more, your blade cuts through nothing as she disappears. Really? Yeah, I don't learn lessons. We've been over this. <laughs> her voice chides from elsewhere in the room. You whirl around, finding her hovering between you and the basement stairs. Uh oh looking you over with grim disappointment. We've never faced this side of the room. <laughs> she draws in close. Uh oh. I was willing to let bygones be bygones, Keller. I was willing to ignore everything you did to me so we could get out of here, together. Well, that's probably bad. All I ever wanted was to leave this place. All I ever wanted was to find a way back home. Wherever home is. Her eyes turn from wells of sorrow to pits of wrath as she stares into you. I guess violence is the only language you speak. This seems fine. She forces her hand into your chest, and then... Ow. Uh-oh. Uh. Yes? You're... You know, he's the cold. What do I expect? <laughs> Nothing happens. Are you sure about that? S something should have happened. And yet it didn't. We're fine. Ghosts can't do anything? Step away. You do your best to pull away, but it's as if her arm embedded in your body is rooting you in place. Oh, nope, there it is. Leaving so soon. There's the not good. 
<laughs> there's nothing like, there's no way it's that easy. <laughs> you can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next. Uh oh. But it is over before you can fully conceptualize what it is. I fully conceptualized that she just ripped my heart out of my chest. A horrific splintering, the squelching of organs, the rending of tissue, an icy, numbing pain. Yep. I'm done asking. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owed. Starting with your body. If you won't choose to give me my freedom, I'll just have to make you give it to me. She's real now. If she's making us dead, we should return the favor. Oh. Slay the princess. You swing your blade oh. towards her briefly corporeal throat. It connects. A gash widens across her neck, glowing ectoplasm leaking from the wound. But it's too little. Ah. In her hand, you realize she clutches your still beating heart. It thumps, unsettling. Hey, at least we tried to fight back. <laughs> Did we get her? No, not particularly. Even if we didn't, we've given her something to remember. See you soon, killer. Yep, see you soon. I'm afraid you'll never know. As she crushes your precious organ in her hand, everything goes dark. And you die. Oh, you know, just for now. Chapter 3. The Wraith. You're on a path in the wood. And here we go again. Off to slay her. Again. This is definitely a creepier woods. The deck's stacked, isn't it? We kill her, we start again. She kills us as a goddamn ghost. We start again. I'm starting to think we're being run in circles just for the sake of it. <clears throat> yeah, probably. That's fine. Come on. Let's not give in to all that misery just yet. There's got to be a way out of this. There's got to be a right answer. Is there, though? We got the good ending and we got chastised for it. <laughs> yeah. And what if there isn't? Aren't you listening to me? What if all of this was rigged from the start? That's ridiculous. There'd be no point in all this if it was just some kind of cosmic busy work. I love cosmic busy work. Channel thrives on it. <laughs> I think that's exactly what it is. The powers that be seeing how many ways they can screw with us. Could be it's all some kind of sick joke to them. Wouldn't that get, I don't know, boring? Not when it's different every time. Okay, so you've already been here. Twice even, great. Then let me poke a few holes in your depressing little theory. Nobody here is screwing with you, and I can't imagine any scenario where you would have started over after slaying the princess. Hmm, about that. Well, we didn't have to start over. We killed ourselves. And why, pray tell, did you do that? Well because you decided to foist an infinite tedium on us. That doesn't sound like me. If I'd had everything my way, you would have effortlessly slain the princess, saved the world, and been given your happy ending. The ending was the tedium. You locked us in a cabin and sent that cabin to an endless void, and then you told us we were happy. Well, were you happy? Clearly not. Of course we weren't happy. That's why we killed ourselves. It was awful. It was boring. It was bullshit. <laughs> so you killed yourself? Yes. And then she killed us. Even though she was already dead. This is all fake. <laughs> I do love the different voices given to each version of ourself. <laughs> okay, let's try to get back on track. You're real. The princess is real. Mm -hmm. The world is real. Mm -hmm. The people in the world are real. Mm -hmm. And the danger she poses to all of them is also, quite unfortunately, real. Okay. I see. It's all real. Whatever you did the first time, it sounds like it almost worked. So how about you give it one last try? Because killing yourself seems to undo all the good you almost managed to accomplish. Probably, yep. All this standing around and talking is boring. Let's at least do something. 
Maybe we'll kill her again. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll even free her. Cole, can you not be as big of a pain as the broken was? Ah. Uh. Hey, why were you so quick to accept it? If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. That's a hedge, not a wager. Yeah, that is hedging your bets. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. It's true. So, yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. Uh-oh. They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. I'm worried that I'm letting the cold talk too much again, just like with... with the broken. Uh, okay. Um... Let's you just continue proceed. Down the path towards the cabin. And I want to ask all the questions, but I some whoop, I, I sometimes worry that the more knowledge we have, the more it changes the outcome. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. The more he talks, the more I'm interested in setting her free. Gosh darn you. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. Excuse me? It sounds like somebody's about to crack. Yeah, why have you suddenly stopped? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes. I'm done trying to argue. Okay, he's not wrong. I kind of made the same point. <laughs> look at that. We won. Oh, no. Take it however you will. God oh, darn it. The cold's gonna mess us up again. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is long and dark, a single narrow hallway stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. It's really pretty this time. I really like this scene. And of course the mirror! The only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. Wait, where's the... Where's the dagger? What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Where's the blade? Great. Something else has been taken away from us. <laughs> I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh. So yeah, what's uh, what's behind the not a mirror? If you're asking what's at the end of the hallway. It's the way to the basement. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I see. Yes, of the course. The way to the basement. Don't you mean door? No, I didn't say door because there isn't a door. It's just an opening. Oh, creepy. What are the odds she's waiting for us right behind it? If I were running a bullshit factory, it's what I'd do. Uh oh. <laughs> Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you. No. Certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. I don't believe that anymore. <laughs> I would have been fine if they hadn't asked. <laughs> you can't see the mirror. The knife is gone. Defying his expectations. Who the hell is calling the shots here? Certainly not us. Nobody is calling the shots. That's how reality works. Is it though? You slowly make your way towards the gaping moor that awaits you. 
your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards <laughs> the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. Of course I'm being watched. <laughs> oh, We've no. We've always been watched. You're watching us right now. Sometimes the feeling is just stronger than others. Yeah, thank you, Cole. Very reassuring. I feel like you're trying to put us on edge. We don't need all this anticipation. We just need this to be over. Well, it wouldn't be a very good horror game if it was all over, would it? <laughs> you stop as you reach the end of the hallway. I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Swipe it clean. Here we go. You reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's like this place read our mind just to mess with us. Uh-huh. What you're looking at, Kim? There it is. Staring into the void, thinking about what it'd be like to die again. I know exactly how you feel. Do you? I think you feel quite different. Shit. Where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. Constricts? How does she do that? Your bones snap. That's not good. Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse, and you collapse with them. We didn't even make it to the basement this time. You're met with the terrifying visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. <laughs> but do you know how I feel? I gave you a path to forgiveness. I gave you a chance to make things right. I... I mean... I suppose. I thought maybe you'd seen what you've done and feel remorse. Maybe try to make it up to me. But no. You'd rather use that knife to keep making the same mistake over and over and over. We love not learning a lesson. Even after I ripped your heart out, you still cut me. And for what? I didn't go anywhere. You didn't banish me. I'm right back here with you. A little better, a little worse. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of both. Uh, it looks like you've got a body this time. You are a bit more on the horrendous side. Well, maybe a lot worse. She said it, not me. So, here's how this is going to go. I'm going to take your body, and I'm going to walk it out of here. Mm. And you, you get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. Mm-hmm. Where's the knife? <laughs> I say we let her do it. It's something different. You're not helping, Cold. <laughs> You're really not. Do we even have a choice? I mean... I see how you feel cheated, but I mean, we can try. You always have a choice. Kick her in the face. Maybe before, but not now. There isn't a blade this time. Exactly. What choice is there if there isn't a blade? Well, unless you have any specific ideas, I think my vote's the only one that counts. Gosh darn you. Uh... I killed you and you killed me. I uh, never wanted to hurt you. A victim too. Possessing me against my will make you know better than me. You need to take my body. I'm here to free you. Uh... Hmm. I don't think I processed that the option here was possession. You violently struggle against the princess, Ow. but all you manage to do is grind the fragments of your splintered ankle together. You can't shake free from her now. Well. It's so easy to make you squirm, but it won't be crueler than I have to be. I wouldn't want to cause any more damage. 
It'll be hard enough for me to walk out of here on that broken ankle. Hey, you did that. You remain pinned to the floor of the long hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Her torso oh. stretches Hi. until her face is practically touching yours, her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Punch! Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like... Manifest a rock right on top of her head. Only works like that. You can crush you along with her. Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. No, the cold wanted that. <laughs> Not like this. You don't even have a weapon, so I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. And whose fault is it there isn't a weapon here? Yeah, I didn't do that. It's not my fault. Yours, I assume. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Whatever you did in those previous lives of yours, you really messed up. Hey, I succeeded the first time. Are you seriously Second trying time. to blame this on us? Your vision fades Whoop. as she tears open the membrane of your soul. Uh-oh. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel... wrong. This isn't good. So cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. Yep, that'd be the princess. Ow! I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. There's another option, you know. Don't help either of them. Flip the table. Do it! I'm, I'm liking this option. How do we flip the table? Has it? That gap where the mirror was. I don't think it goes anywhere. Let's throw ourselves into the abyss. Yeet! I super dare. Let me do it. Let me throw myself. Your body, no! still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff. Your body reduced to a marionette, pulled reluctantly along by your strings. Oof. Into the abyss! Woo! In a single moment of overwhelming willpower, you tear your body from the wall and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. Too late. We're doing Capillaries it. burst and muscle fibers tear as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends, and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, but fortunately for you, the distance you have to cover is far shorter. True. Enough is enough. I'm tired of us always losing. It's just a step away. Joke's on you. I already got the winner ending. <laughs> you throw everything you have against her and manage, for one brief moment, to overpower the princess's hold on your body. But that moment was all you needed. Your foot slips a few inches, and you collapse forward, the darkness swallowing you whole. It's complicated. Her thought slips through you, unheeded, as you fall and fall. Really now? What an end. But at least it's ours. It is ours. An empire of frigid nothing. One frigid nothing for another. I don't think this qualifies as saving the world, but at least you didn't ruin it. I mean, we took her with us. What happens now? 
I was wondering where the hero went. But I want to know what he thinks happens now. Oh, and why is that? He likes to just vanish. <laughs> He's gone. But oh. terminal velocity ceases and you feel something. A mass, a growth, torn out of you. You and the princess look at each other for a short moment. What? What is happening to me? Oh. There they are. But you don't answer her before she's gone. You feel a resistance underneath your feet once more. Memory returns. She's gone? Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Ah. Uh, of course you're scared this is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. It's gonna be okay, trust me, we've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is gonna be the end of everything. Yeah, probably. We're probably destroying the world. It's going to do something to us. I can feel it. You don't need to comfort them. Ah. Uh, I'll see you. It's gonna be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. We're gonna be so hopelessly incorrect about this. <laughs> So, this is all going to work out. Whatever makes you happy. Let's approach the mirror. You approach the mirror and gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. Mirror always makes them leave. Do you need to see what's in it? Grown. I don't think we look any different than before. Hmm. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Feet to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Uh... I feel like... Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Uh... Know what you want to do. With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be, and every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am, 
What I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself. There's probably entirely different resolutions to all of these outcomes if you ignore the mirror entirely the first time that it shows up in each instance. Uh... Am I going to kill this thing when we're done? I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? I don't think I noticed that. I like that these two are similar. Hold on, let's... Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now, inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Huh. Can you give me a straight answers? I'm sorry. Words are difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. You know, you're you're right. I'm the one that asks. That's, the that's on me. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. I don't like what I'm bringing you. This doesn't feel safe in the slightest, but you know. Now, why have you been kind to me? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Okay. What are your thoughts on this vessel? This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others, so she found it in herself. She will make for a driven heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Yeah, I'm not bringing you good things, uh. Hey, what do you want next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Do not worry. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective eliminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Do you have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. I gotta bring her better perspectives! <laughs> oh no! Uh... Yeah, I think the more I go back, the worse it's gonna get. There is a hurt that dwells in them. But they are not me. They are thoughts and perspectives. They are feelings that inform my being. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I cannot be as I was before. There are new spaces that I must fill. Ah. Uh, how more vessels do I need? If I am to be an ocean, you have given me enough to build a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. I will transcend in due time, and there is no way forward but to contribute to my awakening. <laughs> These are so not going to go well. <laughs> I guess I'm ready to go back now. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. Reflect away. We will meet again. 
everything goes dark, you die. Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. And I think that princess will have to wait until next time. Uh, each of these cycles is a pretty good length. Um, definitely gonna end up keeping this separate from the first video uh, when I realized my, my tiny error there of not uh, turning back on after the game crashed. Uh, I thought maybe I would add that back onto the end of the first video, but I think it's okay to go ahead and just leave this chunk as it is. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I'm definitely excited to see what some of these other paths take us to, what happens as we rebuild this entity, a answers if we ignore the mirror on certain runs. Uh, there is so much it feels like to explore in this uh, this game, and I hope you've been enjoying it. I know it's been a little bit of a creepy ride, but hopefully that's okay for you guys. Um, but yeah, uh, you guys know the drill. Leave a like and a comment if you've been enjoying the video. Uh, tell me what your favorite part has been about this journey so far in the comments. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell if you want more content uh, from me. And as always, I hope that you all have an absolutely wonderful day, night, evening, whatever the heck it may be for you. And I hope to see you all next time. Have a good one, you guys. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>